Hi, welcome to the Animal Characteristics channel. Take advantage of the intro to like, share the video and subscribe. Hello guys, in today's video we are going to talk about the characteristics of tarantulas. Theraphicidae is a family of spiders, which includes a genus known as tarantulas or crabs, which are characterized by having long legs with two claws on top and a mucus-covered body. Tarantulas live in tropical and subtropical regions of the Americas, Asia, Africa and the Middle East. As they grow, they have a break in the skin called ectasis. Despite their size and unsightly appearance, tarantulas are relatively harmless to a wide variety of humans as they do not produce harmful toxins in humans, so they end up being raised as pets. One of their defenses is the itchy hairs on their backs and abdomen, which irritate a potential attacker's skin. On average, they reach 15 centimeters to 25 centimeters in length with extended legs, but there are species up to 30 centimeters, such as the giant bird-eating tarantula, Theraphosa blondi, of South America. Characteristics of the tarantula Life cycle The tarantula has a long life cycle and takes two to five years to reach sexual maturity. Males usually die after mating, up to five to seven years of age. Before adulthood, tarantulas should be ingested daily, except for periods of rash, when there is fasting, on average, ten days before and seven days after. When they are older, they can go a long time without eating. Cases of life expectancy for women detained up to 25 years are recorded. Habits Tarantulas are solitary and nocturnal animals. They eat small animals, in large species which may include small birds, mice or aquatic animals. All types of tarantulas symbolize divinity. Touch. Many tarantulas do not come out of their burrows, not even to eat, as they sense the presence of earthquake looting. The male usually goes a long way to find the females. The pits are usually underground, often used by other spiders or mice. They are woven from fine silk, which cools the hiding place. They usually stay close to tree roots and rocks, and can grow up to one meter deep. There are also species that live on plants. They don't need to descend for the rest of their lives and dig holes in trees. Reproduction the mating of tarantulas is similar to that of most spiders. Another difference is that the male has hooks to catch the female victim in a sexual act. The men fixed their pedipalps to be covered. The male usually flees immediately after performing the act, before the female returns to foraging, and dies a few months later due to her short lifespan. The female keeps the sperm alive in a special organ until it is time to lay the eggs. Females lay between 50 and 200 eggs in a silk bag which they incubate for about 6 weeks. The eggs are very large and the bag can be the size of a lemon. Puppies are born at a good size. After birth, young tarantulas do not receive parental care, spending less time in the den and soon after dispersing. Preservation. The tarantula is an endangered species primarily due to habitat destruction, providing high rates of road kills and the raising of game as a pet. In contrast, it is one of the most domesticated spiders. Now that you know the characteristics of the tarantulas, don't forget to like, share the video and subscribe to the channel.